a guy that some people were worried about early in his career is the number three overall pick, Jabari Smith. Jabari Smith's first, I believe, 17 games, he shot 38% from the field and like 31% from three or something like that. It, it was it was a disaster level in terms of numbers. And for a guy whose efficiency and whose effectiveness on the court is so predicated upon his jump shot, it was very concerning to see that Jabari Smith was struggling in the way that he was. Now, you can point to the fact that, you know, sometimes guys like Kevin Porter miss him on open opportunities. And sometimes, you know, Jalen Green is driving to the rim and trying to draw foul as opposed to hitting an open Jabari Smith in the corner or something like that. But he was missing open ones as well, like just straight up. It seemed like the speed of the game was still catching up with Jabari or Jabari was still catching up to the speed of the game. Over his last 20 games, Jabari Smith is averaging 13.6 points, seven rebounds, uh, about one assist, but is shooting 44% from the field and 36% from three. This is a lot more of what we expected to see from Jabari Smith. Uh, he just looks a lot more comfortable out there in terms of the way things are flowing to him. What have you seen over the last 20 or so games of Jabari Smith that points to the level of excitement that I think Houston fans now absolutely should have. I know that the beginning was a little bit rocky, but uh, there was no reason to jump ship as I wrote about in the initial rookie rankings back around Thanksgiving. Uh, he, he is just going to take some time to adjust. He's one of the younger guys in the league. What what have been your early impressions of Jabari Smith? So I, I think you hit on a lot of great points there. And the last 20 games in particular have been really solid and strong from him. Confidence is a huge part of this process, Sam. And Jabari Smith, when he played at Auburn, was able to attack in transition, not necessarily attack the basket, but he ran to the three-point line and was rewarded for doing so. Got a bunch of open looks there and kind of that semi-transition offense. Uh, he struggled, as we you noted at the top, and, and a lot of us have seen, to get timely looks from some of the guards that he was playing with didn't feel like he was getting created for in rhythm, was missed on pick and pop opportunities, guards defaulting to driving instead of making the simple kick out passes. And that had an effect on the rhythm and the quality of shots that he was getting. You know, the thing with Jabari Smith, he's not a self creator. He's going to be very reliant on those that are around him and the scheme that he plays in to help get him open shots. What we've seen over the last 20 games is more confidence from him to really run the floor and be rewarded for doing so in transition. He sped up or kind of raised the release point on his shot just a slight amount so that now it, he's not worried about having as much time to get that shot off. It's still going in very cleanly. His mechanics are great, but just by speeding it up maybe the slightest bit, I think he's found himself a little bit more confident that his shot's going to get off. He's not worried about whether this kick out is going to result in, in an open three for him. The other thing with Jabari is he's been very simple when attacking the basket. He's not trying to rush his finishes off of one foot. And I think that just seeing a couple shots go in when you attack a little bit more when you're inside the two point line brings that confidence to, to know that the next three that you take is going to go in. So he's been much more simple playing off of two feet in the lane, using some pump fakes and lean in moves that translates to just getting his confidence up. So he's drilling those threes a little bit more. And, and that, you know, that's, that matters a lot for a guy who's not going to have a ton of self-creation. I'm really glad you brought up the idea of him speeding up his shot a little bit. Jabari is a guy that has always like really taken that like exaggerated one, two into his shot. And it does feel like he's sped up that load, just that extra split second. This is stuff that like more than anything, he's going to have to work on in the off season to get the most out of what he is capable of. But just speeding yeah. it up that extra little bit, I think has helped quite a bit. Uh, just getting a little bit more confidence. I agree with you hundred percent. At the end of the day, the confidence I think has been the biggest factor for Jabari Smith, just kind of figuring things out on the fly here. It, it seemed early on, like, he almost didn't know when the ball was going to come to him and he missed some shots early on and it just helps to see them go in. I feel like when you haven't seen them go in on an NBA floor before, and he is a player that I think started pressing a little bit. He's a guy that like, for the most part is like very happy to play within the flow of the offense, right? Like 
it drove people nuts watching Auburn last year when Katie Johnson and Wendell Green would have Katie Johnson and Wendell Green games and just like take over when they have Jabari Smith on the court. But part of that is that Jabari, in a lot of respects, prefers to have things come to him a little bit more as opposed to having to go out and create. And part of that is his own limitation as a ball handler at this point. And for him to reach his ceiling, he's going to have to improve as a ball handler. But I think that more than anything, seeing the ball go in a little bit has just given him that extra confidence that he really needed. The thing that he hasn't needed extra confidence with is the defensive side of the court. I think he's been terrific for a rookie from the jump. I wouldn't say he's quite in the class of like Walker Kessler and Dyson Daniels in terms of how good those guys have been, where they've just stepped in and been plus defenders from day one by NBA standards. But I do think Jabari is like an above average defender who his awareness off the ball and his ability to help and kind of fly around has really been beneficial in what has been a very messy Houston Rockets defensive structure to this point. If you are a rookie and you can just play with energy and play hard every single time on the defensive end of the floor and have some semblance of length or athleticism, you're going to be able to play through some mistakes. And particularly in Houston on a team that's as young as they are and invested a lot in getting Jabari there. But, but he's been, he's been very, very solid on that end of the floor, Sam. I think that was predictable from watching his college tape but it still doesn't get talked about enough because his numbers have fluctuated up and down throughout the season on an offensive side that it makes it really hard to to focus on it and be consistently proud of how solid he's been on defense. Yeah, I mean, the only reason I ranked him in the last rookie rankings in Thanksgiving was purely because of the defense, because he was actually genuinely good on that end. I mean, he was one of the more harmful offensive players just because his shot was not falling uh, throughout the first quarter of the season. Now that the shot is falling, he is an effective offensive player that teams really have to close out on hard and manage. And then on top of it, he's bringing the defense. I think Jabari has been a really, really good player. Uh, He's probably been one of the five best rookies over the course of the last 20 games of the season or so. And for a guy that is still 19 years old and is one of the youngest rookies in the league and is very clearly, I don't want to say a bit more of a project, but is still working through the playmaking and passing reads and working through his handle a little bit. It's a really good sign that he's been able to have the kind of plus impact that he has over the course of the last little while. 